Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for coming. Uh, I, I, I'm really glad that um, uh, uh, we had so many new partners this year, and this is the first year we actually do a Copycom conference only in English, which is a big thing for us, and especially for me. Um, and uh, every single year, uh, I, I, I was opening Copy Camp, and I was uh, uh, and I was giving a presentation on why we need to legalize non-commercial sharing, and 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 probably I, I should do this again because non-commercial sharing is still illegal in uh, 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 in most of the countries at least. Uh, uh, so. But to, but today I would like to do something something a little bit different. Today I would like to to, to talk uh, a little bit on the uh, on the free culture ecosystem and why I think it's broken and why I think we need to to to, to fix it. So this is me, some 15 years ago, uh, and I was uh, I was marrying this beautiful woman. She still is my wife. Um, and, uh, and I think it's going to be like that forever. And we, we were having a fundraiser during our wedding. We asked people not to come with, with flowers, but with money for a new organization, which was <laughs> just, just um, developing. And this organization was Creative Commons. So I'm a free culture guy, OK? <laughs> and, and, um, and I love free culture, and I am, I'm deeply I'm uh, I uh, and I'm I, I'm deeply concerned about free culture. So, uh, so this is free culture ecosystem. <laughs> so uh, no, and sorry for alienating at least some of you. Uh, I, I understand that I'm getting like a little bit deeply into 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 some some. Legal, legal, and and philosophical problems. So this is this is the map of the of the of the most popular free culture licenses. The free culture licenses are those in green. The in the red we got non-free licenses provided by Creative Commons. And uh, and um, and it's easy to spot the problem. How the how how, how how we can explain that to people, right? I mean, it's it's a mess. Uh, we got we got free license, we got non-free licenses, uh, which are somehow connected to uh, free culture ecosystem. We got free culture licenses, which are not Creative Commons, and then we got all different names for for those and um, and uh, and those are actually pe uh, licenses people encounter. Those are the most popular. Uh, free culture licenses uh, in the green field taken from the Wikimedia Commons. Uh, so those are licenses which are which are being used. Okay, that's that's important. So, so for for those of you who don't who don't know what's the difference between free and non-free, the free licenses are those who uh, 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 who are meeting the definition of the free cultural works. And there is another definition as well. This is open definition provided by the by the Open Knowledge Foundation, uh, which is pretty much the same. I mean, the the text is different, and the structure of the text is different. But 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 the the the, the basics. I mean, what's the difference between free and non-free licenses is is is, uh, is 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 basically the same. Okay, so let us take a look at how free licenses work in a free software ecosystem. This is um, uh, this is the, the data provided by the white source software. This is like a legal. If, uh, this is like a business firm which provides legal services to free software developers. Uh, this is uh, this is their data on the market. What I what licenses are being used most in the in the free software ecosystem? As you can see, uh, MIT uh, license is most popular, followed closely by GPL and then Apache and and then different different versions of GPL, LGPL, and, and BSD as well, okay? Those are all free licenses. Let us take a look at GitHub. This is GitHub. The, as you can see, again, this is MIT, Apache, GPL, BSD, and then there's like a longer, longer tail. So this is, this is, what, what, this is what, 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 what healthy ecosystem looks like. Some licenses are more popular, some are less popular, but uh, they, they they coexist. What's int what's interesting is that uh, that there is a lot of different 
uh, licensing organizations. I mean, the organizations which manage the license itself, and and uh, uh, we got. Uh, so we got a choice, a choice in that. So how the how the how the GitHub how the GitHub GitHub works with uh, with actually communicating to the developers what license they should choose. This is how they this is how they do this. It's uh, uh, they, they 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 give free choices, and then they and then uh, 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 and then they give a certain idea a certain ideas of what license. Uh, someone should should use uh, regarding, I mean, the the the, 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 the their needs, and they also give them a choice. I mean, if they uh, if they recommend MIT, they also uh, uh, they, they give a choice of jQuery and NetCore and Rails. If they recommend Apache, they also give the choice of Android, Apache, and Swift license, and so on and so on. So so this is how how they uh, how they communicate. What's in, what's interesting from for for me is that this uh, this um, recommendation is based not on particular licenses but it's based on standards on on ideas what we want to protect how we want to promote our work how we want our work to be used so this is oh this is something i'm really proud of actually this is um, this is the first two screenshots of the uh, compiled list of all the templates which are being used on wikimedia commons uh, for licensing all in all, the list is like pretty long. Sorry for not showing it all. There is an address down there. You can you can you can check it. There are two two thousand three hundred two different licensing templates on the Wikimedia Commons alone, which is a mess. It's way too many, and uh, and uh, and as as you as you can see, uh, actually. Uh, at least in the first 57, there is there are there, there are different licensing. I don't know how to say it. Subtypes which are repeating. This is CC by four. This is CC by three. This is CC by four something, and so on and so on and so on. Uh, we actually uh, with with Marek Stelmashik, uh, who is the uh, who is one of the of the uh, very active um, uh, 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 very active. Mm, People in the Polish Wikipedia community, we, we did a little bit of analysis and we tried to to to, to you know to narrow it to to uh, uh, this is what this is what the, I think first 500 entries looks like we 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 we, we gave up we, we decided not to do all the 2,300 because you need to do you need to do it by hand to, um, so it's um, this is this is, and we try to 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 collapse those those different subtypes into into larger categories. As you can see, CC by SA is by far the more most popular uh, license on Wikimedia Commons, which is not surprising because Wikipedia is licensed uh, under CC by SA, uh, but it's closely followed by GFDL and uh, public domain uh, dedication. That's that uh, or simple attribution, which is basically, I mean, from any practical. Point of view. This is this, this 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 is this is very similar to public domain. So so this is this is what uh, and it still is and it still is a mess. So so let us take a look on the uh, on the state of the Commons uh, report of Creative Commons. So as you can see, the the free culture in terms of numbers is developing really really well. This is this is um, uh, this is. Uh, uh, this is uh, uh, how many works are published under under uh, uh, under all the Creative Commons licenses, including non-free uh, licenses. And as you can see, uh, uh, the, the progress is visible. What is left, of course, in this report is all the works released under free licenses, which are not Creative Commons licenses, right? I mean, this obviously we cannot find in the report. Uh, what's also very encouraging is that. Uh, actually, the free licenses uh, are winning. Uh, it's um, uh, 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 this was a little bit surprising for me, but uh, but uh, but non-free non-free licenses are not really accepted by the by the by the people, not really accepted by the market. The the free licenses are, and uh, and um, uh, so this is uh, so this is encouraging. This is encouraging because it also paves the way to actually fixing. All this mess. Uh, um, uh, because 
once we understand that, uh, but once we know that actually it's free licenses what matters, and uh, and uh, and uh, and. Um, uh, free license is what matters. Uh, we can try to, 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 to think how to simplify the system and how to make it more efficient and how to make, make it more attractive to the people. Because, uh, in my opinion, in, we are slowly saturating the, the, uh, uh, saturating the market. In, I mean, that's, that's not really good wording for what I want to say. I mean, we are, we are hitting the wall in how far we can go with promoting free licenses to the people. And, uh, and uh, I think we need to, to, to reinvent the ecosystem if we want to, 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 to move any further. Okay, so why we need different uh, licenses? Why don't we settle on just one or two? For example, if we if we if you want one couple one free couple left license and one free non couple left license, well, there are, there are three different reasons why we need different licenses. The first one is uh, control over license text. There is a, there are a lot of valid reasons why we need uh, a choice. Um, some of those reasons are political uh, because. Um, uh, in a good way, also. I mean, if if you are a, uh, if you if you are a public administration and you release uh, uh, and you release works uh, under license, basically this license because becomes part of your legal system, and you want to 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 keep your legal system under the democratic control. So obviously, it's not a it's it's not a good idea to to use the li license text, which is controlled by someone else outside of the democratic control uh, in your jurisdiction. Now, uh, at, uh, at, at least in the case if this license uh, uh, provides the, the, the possibility, to, possibility for relicensing under the next version. And most of uh, free licenses do that. I mean, it, it, they, they, most of licen free licenses say this or next version as published by someone. So, so, uh, 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 but also, also I think I think the the, the, the question of control uh, of the of the of the license tax is 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 a, is, a, is a question of trust, and it's always good to have uh, like backup plan and uh, and to have other choice. So the other, which is hugely in my in my opinion hugely underestimated, is uh, branding. The branding. Uh, the branding is something we do to attract people to the idea. And it's not that like one branding attracts all. Different groups need different branding. Um, and uh, I will show and uh, uh, and uh, I, I and I will show you the why this is I will show you on an example. This is the example uh, of the license which has like a very specific branding. This is a valid free license. This is called do what the fuck you want to public license. And there is a lot of people who use this license. Uh, on Wikimedia Commons, it's more than 5,000 works released under this license. This license is very popular in OpenStreetMap community. Why? Because th this is the license which, attract, which attracts people who want to give the fuck to the system. Is it good license for like government? Not really. <laughs> or serious organization as ours? No. <laughs> but for a lot of people, this kind of branding is exactly something which attracts them. And uh, and um, uh, uh, so uh, so uh, um, if we want to move beyond the, our current bubble, free capital bubble, we need to expand the the, the, the branding we are using to attract different communities all over the world. Uh, and the last is specific license terms. This one I would like to, 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 to downplay. I mean, this is, this is, this is on, the, on the other hand, hugely overestimated need. I don't think, I don't think that, in free culture, that in free culture world we need that many, uh, that many specific license terms. But again, there are some actors who really feel strongly um, uh, about about it, and 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 I think we need to, to uh, I think to, we, I think we need to to, to 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 just accept it. This this will this is not going to change. So. So 
if we, if so, let us. So I, I'm a policy guy. I'm working. I'm, I'm, I'm. For the last ten years, I was going, you know, from the. Uh, I was, I was, I was teaching people how to use free licenses. I was, I was forcing uh, government to, 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 to use free licenses. I, I was doing that like, like almost like a full-time job. And uh, there are several ways we can actually uh, make. Uh, free licenses work. This is this is like a very good example. This is this is from the UNESCO recommendation. This this is the this is the recommendation which says that the license needs to uh, uh, needs to uh, facilitate reuse, revision, remix, and alternative distribution. Basically, this is free uh, uh, free cultural works definition uh, condensed into one sentence, uh, uh, which is nice. Because it it promotes the standards, not particular licenses. Another example is Budapest Open Access Initiative recommendation. It's the opposite. It doesn't say anything on what you can do. It just says we recommend CC BY. Um, uh, so, um, and there are some. Things which are in between, like for example, Open Access Glory Publishers Association uh, recommends recommends uh, 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 CC uh, CC uh, uh, CC by, but it, it's uh, it's more nuanced. So, how it works in practice? So, those are policy recommendations. How it works in practice? In practice, we work with platforms. So, this is Flickr. Flickr, arguably, the biggest repository of freely licensed wor works uh, in the world. Uh, so what choices, uh, what, what choices we have on Flickr? Basically, uh, we have uh, uh, all rights reserved, public domain, and then the full set of choices between different Creative Commons licenses. What we are lacking there is we are lacking the other choices. We, there is no way we can give fuck to the system. Which is, uh, <laughs> which I think is a problem. <laughs> On the other hand, at least we do have a choice between different licensing terms. That's the choice Flickr is giving us, right? So it's um, uh, it's not that uh, that 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 that, that, oh, 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 that 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 well. On, on YouTube, on YouTube, you got basically a uh, YouTube license, which is just the, the full copyright. You just agree that uh, that, that your work is on YouTube, uh, more or less. And uh, and then there's Creative Commons attribution. And uh, if you want anything else than that, well, you are you need to be creative. You need, you need to put it in the in the description or something. But metadata is missing, so it's, it's you cannot, cannot search for it, and so on and so on and so on. This is uh, this is example of the of the kind of a broken ecosystem. Uh, so so we need to reinvent the ecosystem. Uh, we need to reinvent the ecosystem in a way which is open for different licenses, which is based on standards, and which is future-proof. Uh, and I'm stressing the point of based on standards, because if we, if we, if we begin reorganizing the free license ecosystem, uh, starting from standards, we can actually simplify it a lot. Make it more, make it more transparent, uh, easier to uh, understand, easier to promote, and uh, uh, and in the same time more open for uh, different uh, actors' needs and more open uh, uh, and more open for different brandings. So of course there are problems, and the first problem, this is the problem we could see easily on the Wikimedia Commons. This is license proliferation. How to how to clean this mess? Again, with standards, it will be much easier, um, uh, uh, much easier to 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 to, to manage it. Uh, and there is license incompatibility. License incompatibility, in my in my opinion, is hugely overestimated problem. This is what uh, this is the license compatibility chart for Creative Commons licenses. Uh, it's already a mess. So probably by by. Um, so probably we can we can we can we can uh, we can we can try to to uh, to make it better. But also, in my opinion, I, um, uh, in my opinion, uh, if we uh, 
if we uh, base the, the system on standards, not on particular licenses, then we can, uh, we can try to reach the goals which for now uh, we, can, we, can, we cannot simply reach. Um, and uh, and, uh, and uh, so those are my ideas of what we can, what we can do. So uh, recommend and demand particular freedoms, not particular licenses. Create a multi-stakeholder standardizing body for free culture licenses, evaluation and certification. And work with partners on creating licensing tools which will be easy to use, flexible and expandable. And cherry on top. I think if we agree on creating the system based on standards, we can try to make even the couple left licenses effectively interoperable. It's because uh, the couple left works that any derivative work needs to be released under this very same license. What if we can change our different licenses to say any derivative work needs to be released under the same license or any other license which, need, uh, which meets the same standard. And uh, from my point of view, this is like a really, really attractive possibility. And by the way, no free culture ecosystem will solve the problem of free culture uh, at, in, at large. For that, we need to legalize non-commercial sharing. Thank you very much.